Mia Frugier, owner and fa uh, excuse me, uh, marketing manager. Where we have a different guest. We were going to speak to the owner, uh, Mr. Mike, but now we have Mia Frugier with us, marketing director for Frugier Spirits or JT Millick, which we will talk about the risk of uh, the release of the new whiskey. Mia, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I get that a lot. They're like, oh, I thought we were having Mike. I'm like, sorry, just Mia. <laughs> Mike gets busy. He's a busy <laughs> man. All right, I don't know him, but I'm I'm sure he's super busy. But anyways, Mia, glad to have you here. Now you guys started out with vodka. How did you kind of make the switch to now um, being a whiskey distillery? Yeah. Well, actually, it's funny. Whiskey kind of was the original idea. Okay. So my father's an entrepreneur. Uh, you can kind of think the whole idea came from sustainability. So he's fourth generation farmer as well as with his uh, brother Mike, uh, Mark. Oh my goodness. Um, they've been on the land since 1896, which is the year that you see on the bottle. Mm -hmm. And when the value of rice kind of went very, very low, he was trying to think of something else to do. We have crawfish as well. If you know anything about farming, you can't just change what you're doing. I mean, you're talking three years out, and if you've ever talked to a farmer, you've got to harvest. So there's not an option, you've got to do it. And so he started racking his brain with a couple of ideas, and then somebody made a joke that you should make a spirit, and he's a vodka guy. Mm -hmm. Well, when he started doing a lot of research into ADI and whiskey and the brown spirit and all these things, nobody had any answers when it comes to rice. So he realized, as the entrepreneur brain he has, that nobody in America has really capitalized on rice, ironically being one of the mass producers in Louisiana of rice, mm -hmm. that this was an opportunity. And so, but if you know anything about whiskey, you got to put it in a barrel and you hope that it actually tastes good when you take it out of the barrel five years later. So you, you're sitting on all this equity, you're sitting on all these barrels, we're farmers, what the heck are we doing in distilling? And so we start dabbling with um, vodka recipes because you can make vodka pretty quickly. And again, he's a martini guy. He came up with a couple of recipes made one, made a martini, and that day he decided he was making that vodka because he said it was, quote, the best martini he has ever had, and he truly believes that to, to this day. So. Such a fun story. I love it. I love hearing of how, you know, businesses, local businesses like this um, come to be. Now, you guys finally were able to make the transition to now uh, release a line of whiskey. What can, you know, I was telling you earlier, I don't know too much about whiskey, but for people who are watching who do love whiskey, what can they expect from the flavor of the JT Millick whiskey? I would say something completely different in a really cool way. Just, um, it, it's, it's not like anything else. We had a reviewer, Fred Minnick out of Kentucky, who basically said, I mean, if, if, if you're a bourbon lover, you're gonna like it. It's 100% it's rice whiskey. It is whiskey, there's no corn. And it's just different because there's not really another one that comes from America. So I don't like to put different taste profiles in your head because then you're going to go and get it. You're going to, you're, that's what you're going to taste because right. I told you that you're going to taste it. So I suggest everyone go get a bottle and you're going to see for yourself. It, it's, it's got a natural sweetness just like the vodka that comes from the rice. Um, we just launched our single barrel program. So we had Nunu's and Champagne's, which are local. Um, they released their single barrel. So those lucky ones out there who got it. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm not specifically answering the question, but it exceeded our expectation. I don't want to put it in there, somebody's brain what it tastes like. It, it's just, it, it's exceptional. I mean, I, I'm a, it's a biased opinion, but it's, it's pretty incredible that the rice that we have been harvesting on this land for now five generations is turned into this bottle. I mean, it's literally coming from our land for your enjoyment at your home, and that in my opinion, makes it mm -hmm. even better. I mean, it's truly a spirit, a Louisiana spirit. Well, I cannot wait to check it out, and you guys should as well. All of you whiskey lovers, I know you're dying to try it. Head to their website to see how you can purchase your own bottle.